Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. If you did not see the first episode and you are new to Isaac, I encourage you to watch the first episode before watching this one. Otherwise, thank you for joining me. We're going to start a new run. We lost our first run, and I'm actually a little bit, um, a, a little bit upset with myself. We got killed by spikies. It happens. Uh, but it's fine. <laughs> let's attempt this again, and let's try to not be bad this time. I'm just saying. Okay. So I guess they shoot now. I mean, they've kind of always done that, but it wasn't an attack they did often. There we go. Speed upgrade is good. Okay. We're doing things. Let's go find our item room for this floor. And our goal is to make it through six floors. Which I believe will help us then begin to start unlock, uh, start unlocking things. We kind of got, um, I don't know if it's the new, uh, I don't know if it's, you know, a new thing for repentance or if we just got a little unlucky last time. We really struggled to find uh, health items last run. And maybe that's because we're playing on hard mode. And there have been some changes to hard mode. But it seemed like we just we really didn't find the stuff we needed. So, you know, what can you do? And as a result of not finding uh, HP, spirit hearts and stuff like that. Ah, that was bad. Um... We weren't able to protect our red hearts, which means we weren't able to get deals with the devil, which means we weren't able to become strong, which means we just got... Okay. See, I'm not helping my case. I'm supposed to be, like, good at this game. <laughs> and I keep running into flies. What are you doing, self? Uh, you're supposed to come down here? No, see, the thing is, I, I need you to come this way. You're just, like, standing still. You're supposed to continuously chase me forever. It's more the little the little one that I'm more worried about, honestly. When he eventually detaches from big one. Yep, there we go. And then I think when he dies, he explodes into a bunch of shots that all kind of fire in different in every direction. So we want to make sure that when we eventually do finish him off... Okay, no, never mind. And we get Latch Key, which is not a great item, but it does give us a Spirit Heart, which is lovely, which means we're not going to go into the Cursed Room. I suppose I could have gone into the Cursed Room and then gone back and gotten Latch Key. That probably would have been the smart, uh, the smart thing to do, but it's fine. We do like having uh, Cupid's Arrow, which is piercing shots. At least I think it's Cupid's Arrow. It's the, the arrow item. Piercing shots are wonderful. No complaints there. All right, let's see if I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. And it's a Joker card, which gives us an instant teleport to a deal with the devil or angel, depending on what you're eligible for on that floor. We don't want to go running in here just yet. Good way to take damage. And we don't want to take damage. There we go. Better. Tower card, meh. Tower card makes uh, bombs appear all over the screen that will blow up. Which is great, except for the fact that they also blow you up. Although, could maybe use it here. And get some free money. Yeah. At least we managed to make it do something. Usually the tower card doesn't accomplish anything, so I'm not going to complain. All right. I like it when they run into fires and kill themselves. That makes me happy. Those are the best kinds of enemies. Okay. Double lock door down here. Uh, how many keys do we have? We have four. Let's check the item room. Ooh, Cricket's Head. That is a very nice damage upgrade. It is, in fact, a damage multiplier, 
rather than just a flat damage upgrade. I, think it, I, I forget the exact amount, but it, it's significant. It's one of the larger damage bonuses in the game. At least from a single item. So, no complaints here. There we go. Get rid of the little flies. Beautiful. And we've got money, so let's check the shop. We don't want anything here. But we will start donating. As I said in the last episode, there's a lot of different upgrades tied behind the shop and uh, donating to the shop. So our primary goal when it comes to the shop right now is just donating money to the machine so we can get those unlocks uh, as quickly as possible. And you can see we got a couple, we unlocked a new item and we also unlocked the first shop upgrade. So more items will now appear in the shop. There will now be three things in there instead of just two. There we go. Um, we still have three keys. I think we're going to go check out that uh, double locked door right here. Let's pop into here. What do we got? So, keys, bombs, money, empress card, empress card. Uh, if we put a bomb right there, that should hit both rocks and we get our bomb plus a key. We'll stick with the joker card. Actually, we'll take the empress card and we'll use it in the boss fight. And then we'll take the Joker card with us to the next floor, I think. That's probably a better idea. There we go. Pop this. Gives us damage and speed bonus. And more damage is always useful for the bosses. Why did I run into the creep on the ground there? That was just not a good call. Uh, okay. So take this. Let's pop into here. What do we got? So we have a new item that I don't know what it does. And then we have Pentagram, which is a damage upgrade. We also have more Spirit Hearts. So I'm going to take both of these. Pentagram, yes. And Eye of the Occult. Damage up plus controllable tiers. So I can make my tiers continue to do stuff. Okay, that's cool. And it's a damage upgrade. That's what I really care about. So we're at 10.96 damage, according to the HUD. Which, for the second floor, is, like, ridiculously good. So, no complaints. Alright. Down to the next floor we go. I think we're looking... Uh, I'm feeling much better about this run than the last one. Gotta be honest. I don't know how I feel about this item. It's not bad. Oh, that was... Okay. So they definitely increased the shot speed that that enemy fires at with the new DLC. It did not used to be that fast. And there's a lot of little sort of minor changes to Isaac like that that are completely going to mess with me. Because when you build up hundreds of hours of muscle memory for certain things, and then they change those things, like how fast the enemy's shots travel, it's totally going to mess with you. <laughs> I'm just throwing that one out there. Okay. But the run itself is looking pretty good. I think this is... Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's a mimic chest. I think this little sort of, like, little bit of red in the lower right corner, I think that means it's a mimic chest. And you can't really tell until you're, like, right on top of it. Pop up, please. You too? There we go. What do we got in here? Um, sure. We'll do the challenge room. We unlocked a new character because we have, uh, I don't know. I, I don't actually know off the top of my head what the requirements to unlock 
Lazarus were, but we just unlocked Lazarus. So, new character. We'll probably play as him next run. His whole gimmick is that he can die and come back to life uh, a little bit stronger than he was previously. Isaac doesn't really have a gimmick. Isaac is sort of like the baseline character. Eventually, he unlocks an item called the D6, which allows you to reroll other items and is super, super good. Uh, but we don't have that yet. But he, Isaac, you know, as far as stats and stuff like that goes, he's, he's kind of the baseline. Everything else is sort of built off of what Isaac can do. You know, all the other characters are like, what if Isaac, but more HP and also slower? Or like, what if Isaac, but could die and come back to life? Let's check this out. Sticky bombs? Eh. Gives us bombs, at least. It's something. And I do like bombs. Okay. More new enemies. Don't get hit by those. Oh, that one's also new. Okay. Let's check the shop. What do we got? Jar of flies. Uh, we'll slowly fill up with flies as you defeat uh, enemies, and then you can use it to release all the flies and watch them destroy everything in their path. Uh, I was going to say, are there more? There we go. Uh, also fairly certain that this is a secret room. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, I want to get rid of the red fires because they can shoot at you. Which is just not good. And then we'll push the chest over by the TNT barrel to blow that up. And we'll do the same up here. And get all sorts of goodies. Um, don't really want to run into that. Let's just grab all the money and all that kind of good stuff. There we go. I'm going to blow this guy up because if you blow up these... Uh, keeper, shopkeeper dude things, uh, it slightly increases your chance of getting a deal with the devil at the end of the floor. And since we have so many bombs, I think that's a worthwhile bomb investment. We didn't get it, but we did get the stapler, which is a damage upgrade, and it is a new item as well. So we'll take it. Uh, also, I can see that our jar of flies has 20 flies in it now, which I believe is the maximum. So we will use that. We just unlocked the Rotten Penny somehow. And then I think we're gonna blow these guys up too. Oh, you know what? I meant to use the Joker card on that last floor as well. And we just got an HP upgrade. So, okay. Oh, it looks like you can't use those twice per heart or per half heart now. It used to be that if you were quick enough, the iframes that you would get from taking damage, the invincibility frames, would prevent you from taking more. I need to test this. Yeah, okay. So you definitely uh, do not get... Okay. So those have essentially doubled in cost then compared to how they used to be because it used to be that you could get two ooh, we're actually hurting here it used to be that you could get two uh like heart donations i guess you could say per half heart that's a tinted rock get this little hp back which is good and now it is one for one okay please stay away from me Homing troll bomb. There we go. Check this out. Yeah, I don't like those guys. They just kind of pop up at you. Experimental, Experimental pill. pill gave us luck up and I think range down. So lowers one stat, increases another one, I'm guessing. Or something like that. Probably randomly. Still trying to learn what all the new stuff does, obviously. And we're going to be doing that for a while. Curse of the Tower is not a good item. 
Um, if you take damage, it blows uh, you, you. You get bombs that explode all over everything, and can also damage you. But you know what? I'm gonna take it anyway, because uh, why not? Probably a bad idea, but at the same time. One of the big things that uh, Repentance was trying to do was make items that have been traditionally considered bad really good. Or, or maybe not really good, but at least, like, usable. So I'm interested to see if Curse of the Tower is still absolutely horrendous, or if it's actually okay now. And uh, based on that, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's probably still really bad. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh, don't run into the spikes. All right, hold on. Yeah. That's, no, that's a room I was never good at, even in the Afterbirth Plus days. I will take Mom's purse, which gives us more trinkets. Uh, and we can donate more to the donation machine as well. There we go. Secret room. Hey, look at that. Okay. I like HP. HP is good. And we've got the Maw, I believe is the name of this boss. We're just going to sit here and shoot at him, basically. There we go. Easy enough. Take the HP. And Dark Bum. Turns red hearts into non-red hearts. I'm going to take it. Unlocked Azazel. I believe you get Azazel for taking three devil deals in the same run or something like that. And then we'll take Dark Bum. Tell him to gather up all the red hearts. And then we'll pop out here so that he can drop me more stuff. The tower. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, yeah, hi, whew. Okay, we're fine. Hematemesis. Two Use the two of spades, double our keys. And that was all we got. Okay, so we ended up getting, like, um, two black hearts out of that. It's something. Hierophant's good. Down we go. Honestly, the run's looking pretty good right now. I can't complain. We've got good damage. We've gotten some decent items. Our HP's looking fairly okay. Like, this should be good enough to beat the first... Uh, major boss mom which will be on the sixth floor and I say major but it's really only a major bo boss in the context of this being a brand new save file don't get hit by those dudes a lucky rock has appeared in the basement yeah I'm never taking curse of the tower ever again um <laughs> moving on uh, okay. Here, come over here and get this one too, Dark Bum. Thank you. So Dark Bum can now get... Apparently Dark Bum, it used to give Spirit Hearts, the blue ones. Now apparently it only gives re uh, Black Hearts when it actually gives out hearts. But... It can also give out pills and tarot cards as well. Don't get hit by that. So we've explored everything up there, so we already know we're going the right direction, which is good. Okay. Let's check this out. What do we got? Uh, just a regular chest. Probably not worth it to fight three waves of enemies to get just the contents of a single chest. This is also a new art for these explodey black flies. 
These guys will explode when I kill them. There we go. Uh, let's check. Hmm. Yeah, we'll probably pop into the cursed room in a minute. There we go. Let's pop into the cursed room. What do we got? Okay, that was worth it. We took a heart of damage in order to get two hearts back. Those rooms are kind of a gamble. Sometimes they'll be worth it, sometimes they won't. But you can get some pretty good stuff in there if you get lucky, so I think it's worth it. Speed upgrade is good. Anytime you're upgrading your stats, I'm very much in favor. There we go. Beautiful. Check the item room. I'm just going to pick this item up and then put it away because it's a terrible item. It makes enemies freeze, I think, for like five seconds or something like that. The jar of flies is way better. But one of the ultimate achievements of the game is collecting every single item at some point. So we want to pick up every single item over time. Uh, that's probably going to be the very last thing that we manage to unlock. There are literally hundreds of items in the Binding of Isaac, and you usually see, I don't know, maybe anywhere from 10 to 20 per run, give or take. You know, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, but um, yeah, it, it takes a while to get all of them. Let me go get that one too, Dark Bump. Range down. Not great. Lover's card. Good for Dark Bomb. Alright, let's check out the deal with the devil. What do we got? Ghost Baby? It's not a great item. Uh, probably not worth the red heart, honestly. But I'm going to take it anyway, because we only have one more floor to go. And now we have Curse of Darkness, which makes it real dark and we can't really see. But we also have a Joker card. So let's pop over here. What do we got? Um, I, I don't want to take more than one of these items just because of our HP. But I'm going to take this item right here. Uh, if you have half a red heart or less, it will give you a nice damage increase and uh, shot speed. Or a nice speed upgrade and damage increase. Amnesia, of course. Unfortunately, we can't really see like anything right now. <laughs> Okay. So we gotta be careful. And I will say, you know, for the most part, other than some sort of mechanical changes, we haven't really seen much new stuff yet. Couple new enemies, couple new item, a uh, couple new items and trinkets and stuff like that, but. Uh, nothing too major. I think that's the boss room over here. Yeah, okay, so there's our boss. Let's finish off that dude. Grab this. Um, do I want to go find my store? I don't think so. I think I just want to fight the boss and, and, and go for it. So this is Mom. She is the first, air quotes, major boss. You will always fight her. And there we go. We have successfully, air quotes, beaten the game for the first time, which unlocks a whole bunch of challenges and a whole bunch of other stuff. Lots of items, lots of different things. We have been successful. Uh, and now the door has opened to many, 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 many more things. It is the first step in a very, very long journey that I hope you will all take with me. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Thanks. Uh, links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.